Hi, and welcome uh, back. We are going to um, get a more close-up uh, view of this. Uh, I took it off the wall, and uh, let me see. The problem is, is that it's so large that it's really hard to get it into frame. But as you can see, I have a bottom and have a top, and it's like a cascade of flowers that is coming down. They're larger, and they get smaller, kind of like a wedding bouquet, I guess. Um, and then I have the ribbons and uh, I have uh, the pearls and of course I have my beautiful lace all the way around the edges with my pearls and then at the bottom I have uh, a cluster of flowers down here. Now I, this was a little unusual because I always try to make sure that I have exactly the right amount of everything. Now as I told you a while ago I took this piece of lace here and uh, I cut it from a window uh, curtain. Now, of course, it's three feet in length, or was three feet in length. Now, I did not have enough um, lace, I'm sorry to say fabric, to go all the way down and all the way around. So what I did, I knew my flowers were going to be here, so I took my lace up to a certain point and stopped it. I knew that it was going to be covered. Now, on this side, I started at the top, and when I came down, I thought, oh, okay, my flowers are going to be here, and it's going to cover. So I'm going to stop my fa my uh, lace right here. Normally, I, I'm one of these people. I would go all the way down here, and I would go all the way up here. Well, it's just kind of a, a waste of lace, um, really, because it's going to be covered. So I have to be very, very uh, judicious in how I use this lace, because I don't have a lot of it. And I did want to use it. Uh, it has kind of a special meaning to me. So that's what the, the completed project looks like. And I'm going to have it over here close to me so that I am sure that I am getting the correct number of flowers and they're going to look exactly alike. Now, making sure there's my top. See, right there. It's right over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to put on my lace first. Now, if we're doing a mirror image, actually they're opposites. If the arrangement was over here, if I put it up on my wall, it actually needs to be over here. So what you do is you have one on one side and one the other. But you don't want them to be like this. You want it to be over here and over here. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. So, this is where my flowers, my, my bouquet, let's call it a bouquet, my arrangement is going to be on this side. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop this down because remember, I'm going to have a big uh, thing of flowers here and they're going to be coming down. They're going to cover this. So, I don't need um, it to cover the whole uh, piece. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my, um, my gluing right about here. Now if you have, if you're like me and you like it all to be symmetrical, and I'm such a symmetrical person, um, I don't know what that means. I think it all kind of means you're almost like a perfectionist, and I certainly don't do everything perfect, don't get me wrong, but I do like to um, try and have it where everything's finished. Now this side I will do all the way down. The reason being is that my bottom uh, area over here is going to be covered, if you remember, with uh, flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, find my scissors first and foremost. Uh, and I am going to cut this. Now, one thing that I should have done and I didn't. Um, I always like it to end at the same place, but that's not going to happen with this. But the other side you're not going to see, so see, <laughs> I did okay on that one. I dodged a bullet, as they say. I have a brother-in-law who is, and when I say he loves westerns, whoo, lordy mercy, it's, he more than loves, la uh, I almost said lace, uh, westerns. He watches them all, gun smoke and all those. And so I guess that's why I got that terminology from, uh, he's a television addict, really. 
and especially westerns. Oh, he loves those things. Drives my sister crazy. Okay, gonna need some more glue. Now I do use these big glue guns. I, I like them. I don't like to have to be refilling. Uh, if I were doing something real intricate, it would be a little different. But um, I like the big glue guns. What do they say? Go big or go home? Well, that's not necessarily true. <laughs> a lot of people use small glue guns and they feel very comfortable with them. Me, I got the big guns out here. Um, okay, I'm, what I'm doing now is I am gluing down uh, the tips of these so we don't have them. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this around and you remember this is going to be where the flowers are coming down. Over here is where, oops, glue, 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 got it everywhere. This is where the glue, the glue, listen to me, this is where the flowers are going to go down here. Now if you notice, I ended up with a perfect amount because this is going to be covered this is going to be covered. So, I actually measured that beforehand to make sure I would have enough lace. I didn't want to um, have a half finished job because there is no replacing this lace. Um, like I said, it came on a curtain. Um, when I got through cutting all of this out, and boy, was that a job, uh, I said, Oh, I don't know. What, am I, what should I do with these apples? My husband said, Sell them on eBay. These little tiny apples. That was kind of funny. He, he's funny sometimes. And uh, I said, you know, I'm not going to use apples. And um, that goes with whenever you pick something up and you think, oh gosh, you know, this isn't real pretty, but boy, there's a pretty piece of lace at the bottom. Well, go ahead and buy it if it's a good price. Cut out the lace. And like I did, I threw my apples away. But I really thought, who could use those? And I couldn't come up with anybody. Uh, sometimes um, I donate stuff um, to a friend or sometimes I donate it to um, the place where I have a niece that uh, we helped raise and uh, she's in a uh, apartments for people with special needs and sometimes I donate it to that group because they can use it and then sometimes I donate it to the learning center where she attends every day and because um, they have a lot of projects that they do there and so I don't know about in your area but if you have a special needs um, facility they can use not only um, oh, craft items but they can also use you uh, I do uh, donated my time my husband and I last Friday for a fall festival at the center had a lot of fun um, I helped them years ago working on a uh, library project and I got to know a lot of the kids and it was good seeing them again. I call them kids but they're not, they're all adults and uh, but I, I don't know, I just, they're my kids and uh, some hug, uh, you know some do not want to be touched, um, some you know have issues, some are just sweet as can be um, so anyway you just have to, to um, react the way that they feel comfortable, not how you feel comfortable. If they don't want to hug, you don't hug them. But anyway, what I was saying is if you have extra craft stuff that um, supplies that you know you're never going to use. And uh, I ended up, when I cleaned up my craft room, I thought, oh my goodness, where did I get this from? And I've had it for years. And uh, in the library, I did projects, uh, oh, just different things that I did over the years. And I thought, oh, I'm never going to use this. So I have a, a bag right now that is getting ready uh, to be donated. And then I gave a bag away to a friend. And uh, when you have a, a person who is starting out crafting, uh, share with them. Because uh, you know you're not going to use everything that you have. Or if you're like me, if you're an old timer crafter, my phone's not fall. Okay, we have our lace down. The next step is to put our pearls. Now I have to, I have a confession to make really. And um, I skipped ahead, forgot about my pearls, forgot about my other lace, and I started working over here in the corner. Well, that was bad enough because I had to get it all off again 
and stop my video. Now I have to edit it. But I also broke the glass in my frame. See this right here? Well, I could go ahead and I could go have another piece of glass cut. But I have everything done this far. I'm going to see if I can hide that in some way. And I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's what I'm going to do. So working from my right side, because I'm right-handed, I'm going to go ahead and put my lace, or my lace, my, um, see that shook me up so bad, I can't even, don't even know what I'm working on. Um, I'm going to put my pearls down. And um, this is the process that I'm going to go through. Um, I know you don't want to sit here and watch me do lace and pearls all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the next step. Then I'm going to stop my computer, my video, and I am going to uh, go ahead and do this other side after I've shown you what I'm doing here. Now, I'm going to start with this right here, and I'm going to follow, if you can see this little dip, and it's like a little um, bunting, or it's like a little, oops, 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 oops. Um, a little decorative edge and I am going to put my uh, pearls there on top of the glue pressing them down don't want to get too far ahead of yourself because if you do your glue will dry especially if you're under a fan like I am okay so that's what we're going to do is we are going to Finish this off with the pearls and ah, I've got so much glue on me that I'm sticking and that's not a good thing. <laughs> uh, I'm not supposed to be part of the uh, piece, the project. So let's go ahead and do some more glue before I jump over to the other side and do it off camera. I um, guess I could do it and just speed it up. Hmm. I'm still new at doing all this and I still need my husband's help a lot. <laughs> help! Because um, sometimes it's hard to remember all the steps when you're doing these videos. Um, editing them and setting them up and loading them. Um, I, I thought it was a lot easier, but it's not. I sure am glad that my husband is a computer geek, because boy, does he help me a lot. If you don't have that, make friends with someone who is. There's a lot of women out there. There's a lot of men out there. There's a lot of teenagers out there. And um, if you're thinking about doing a channel, or if you want to get better at your videos, or whatever, there's always someone out there that can help you. Okay, so we have our lace down and we have our pearls. Now, I am going to turn this around and hopefully not break something else because when I heard that crack, I went, oh no. Now, uh, <laughs> just as an aside, I just lost my pearls. Now, if you're like me, I can lose things fast on my desk. So, just a moment. I'll be right back. I'm going to find those pearls. Be right back. Okay, I found them. Um, as you know, pearls, especially if they get close to the edge, they just go down. And, uh, of course, they were on the floor. And I found them. So, that's not a problem. Uh, just put down my glue. I knew they weren't too far. They can't go too far. However, sometimes I lose things and I do not know where they are. Um, don't know if you're like me or not, but uh, sometimes just losing things, especially in a tiny room, and you're going, how could I lose that? Oh, not good. Not good. And sometimes I find them in the strangest place. <laughs> I had a friend come over one time. And she and I were going to go outside and look at my lawn. 
not really the lawn, but the garden in the front. And uh, I was wanting to put in some new plants because the drought had gotten them. And uh, before she got here, I kind of did a sketch of the yard, uh, kind of like an outline and where things were and what I thought I wanted to put in, blah, blah, blah. And we were just going to kind of walk around and look and see. Well, the thing was, is that when she got here, I answered the door. I couldn't find them. Could not find those plans anywhere. We looked. And finally, they were, my husband and, and her, they were laughing at me. Um, how can you lose something that you just had in your hands? And uh, But I did. And uh, I think it was later that afternoon, my husband said, I found it. I said, where did you find it? He found it in my desk chair that had been pushed up to the desk. Well, that's probably the only place we didn't look. And uh, they were there. And uh, there was a comic strip one time. And uh, it's the one for Blondie. That Blondie and Dagwood. You may have seen it. And Dagwood comes in. Blondie, where's my sock? And the sock was on the back of his shirt. It was on his back. And so anytime we can't find anything, we call it a Dagwood moment. And, of course, he had a lot of fun teasing me about that. Of course, my friend had already gone. And uh, but we did the lawn. And and she said, I don't know what to tell you. And I'm thinking, oh, but, you know, I, you know, because you have ideas. And you're going, oh, I don't know which one I want to do. And... Uh, she kind of liked my ideas, and she gave a few, and we went out to eat and came home, and she left, and voila, the plants were there. So anyway, I went ahead and uh, did my thing, oh, and uh, it looked so pretty, so very, very pretty, and would you believe, we had another drought, and... Um, where we live, the water is expensive. We have a lot of water in Houston, the Houston area. Uh, all of our water is surface water. We have uh, several lakes. Uh, in fact, we, we're very wooded and we have lots of lakes. And if you thought Texas was just desert, it's not. Um, we live in a very wooded area. And uh, so anyway, we um, when we use our sprinkler system, it it's expensive and uh, so we don't use it more than once a week but um, a whole set of shrubs died and I'm going oh no they were just looking so great and we had some trees cut down and uh, we planted some roses some knockout roses I love those things and uh, they are doing great I had tried knockout roses twice before and they all died well the problem was is that we had just too much shade and that is not the problem anymore because we had 11 trees cut down. I told you we lived in a wooded area. And uh, and that's in a village or a subdivision. So um, it's very wooded. And uh, look, look at that. We're almost through. So anyway, it was... Um, <laughs> oh, it, I'm telling you, we just... Now we're in a rainy season. So you never know what you're going to get. Um but we've had a terrible drought, but uh, Houston area, we were spared the drought uh, that really hit West Texas and everything. And as I'm sure you've noted, uh, Dallas had some horrible weather and uh, up and around some other towns that you wouldn't recognize if I said them probably. Um, but we have been getting a lot of rain. So, there. But it's kind of like a lot too late. Okay, as you notice down here, we have this area. I'm going to put flowers here. We have this area that doesn't have any lace because I don't have any more lace. Okay, uh, so I am going to use my other lace that's so beautiful. See, look, I want to show you. It's like, see, that's where the apples were. I just think that's so neat. Okay, and now I am going to... Put my lace down here. <sighs> let's see. Let's make sure that I'm doing it exactly the same way. 
And I am. And you know, that wasn't good. I'm just kind of messing up again, aren't I? That is not good. And I'm using my nails and I shouldn't do that. Nope. Don't use your nail. Get your handy dandy knife. Or whatever it is that you're using. Um, if I don't do one thing, I do something else. I don't know if you're like that or not. Um, it's not that my mind is drifting. I guess it's because my mouth is going and sometimes my hands don't do what they're supposed to do. Okay, so we do not want the lace down here. I mean the ribbon. The ribbon. Listen to me. The uh, pearls down here. So I'm just going to kind of pull them back. Get them out of the way. Make sure that this has a good fresh end. We don't want it fraying. And then I am going to whoops, put some glue right here. And I'm going to put it over here in the corner. I'm making sure that it's going up like this. The reason I'm doing that is because I am going to put the same pearl treatment on the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and I may be out of frame, I don't mean to be. Okay, let's go here. There we go. Now, we are laying down the pieces that go at the top and the bottom. Um, one of the things, like I said, that I did was I got ahead of myself and I started putting um, my pearls down. Well, that won't work. So we have to pull those back, like I said, and we just have to keep on. Uh, most things that you do wrong, you can finish them and do them right and make a change in them and they come out perfect and no one but you is ever going to know I do like to do everything to the best of my ability sometimes my abilities are less than what I would like now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my pearls because I am going oops, stuck to the pearls <laughs> Oh boy, these, these pearls, they do like me, I think. Okay, get that out of the way. Now I'm going to uh, put those down. We don't want the tips sticking up. Extra glue, get, those, get that out of the way. One thing, if you're crafting and you use a glue gun, it's messy. But it's well worth the effort, even the burns. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take our pearls and if you ever get a pair of pearls like this, let me zoom in so you can see here. Um, let's see here. Now, see right here? I don't know if you can see that or not. See how they're sticking up? Well, I just kind of like that and get them apart and they're fine and that's because what they coat them in you know these aren't real pearls and I know they're not real pearls but we call them pearls um, but whatever they they coat them with sometimes they stick together so you just kind of uh, like that okay let's zoom back out because we want you to be able to see what I'm doing uh, the messes and all because I don't try to hide them <laughs> I think that's I've always been that way. I, you know, I just think, okay, I'll take my lumps. Uh, that's kind of an old time phrase too, isn't it? Boy, am I showing my age? Mm -mm -mm. That's okay. One day, you'll be my age too. And you'll probably do the same thing. You'll think, oh, I heard Hazel Marie back there in 2000 and whatever it was. When she was an old lady and she said that. Uh, that's what I say about my mom. And uh, my mother was older. 
when I was born. She was almost 42, and she died when she was 89. And um, so my mom was born in 1905. Now you figure that out. If she were alive today, how old would she be? Hmm. So as you can see, my mom had some humdingers. She used that word too. Boy, I am. I am my mom. Have you heard that before? Oh, no. I'm not going to be like my mom. No, no, no. Well, sometimes we do get to be like our moms. And uh, especially when you grow up around it. And uh, she used some of those phrases. Okay, I'm going to cut this off. And we are through with this end. Yay. See? We have, oops, let me get back here. We have the long side, well, excuse me, the long side, the shorter side, uh, down through here. Now we're going to turn it around and we're going to go down here. Now, I just love this lace. Ooh, but I don't have that much. Remember what I did down at the other end where I boo booed? You remember the boo-boo. You're probably never going to forget the boo-boos. You're thinking, oh my word, she calls herself a crafter, and look at all the boo-boos she makes. That's okay. Those other crafters, they're making them too. They may or may not tell you about them. <laughs> I found that most craft people, hey, they just either re-video it, or they just mess up and just correct it. I mean, that's all you can do. We're not perfect. Neither are you. And, uh, that's why we're good friends. Because, boy, if we were perfect, oh, nobody would want to be around us, would they? The only perfect person was Jesus. And I'm nowhere perfect like he was. 